Welcome back, Legionnaires, to another 1212 Medieval Kingdoms battle. And today we have a special one because it is I get myself playing as the Duchy of Lorraine against uh, another YouTuber, Joe Onnit, playing as the Duchy of Lesser Poland. So um, I'll put uh, Joe Onnit's uh, link in the channel, uh, in the description, sorry. Or there'll be a pop up uh, somewhere, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, go and check out his channel. He's also a Total War YouTuber. He did some great battles. And um, mainly Rome 2, I've seen. So, I mean, if you're into, obviously, a lot of Rome 2, then go and check out his channel. Go and give him some support. Um, and yeah, go, or go and see his perspective of this battle as well. I'm pretty sure it's on his channel as of now as well. So, we will start the battle, and then we'll go through the army comps as we, uh, as we go. So, over on uh, my side, Duchy of Lorraine, we have... I think about five or six units of Lorraine swordsmen. We have three units of Lorraine at Pavis, uh, well, Pavis crossbowmen basically. Um, and we have two units of dismounted uh, cuteliers, which are basically just spears. Um, looking very, very, they're like pretty basic, but they do the light, do the job. They've got a big long spear that's going to kill a lot of cavalry. We have four units of Alsace Lorraine. Uh, Chevaliers. I'm definitely butchering some of these names, but I mean, look at the um, look at the colours. I mean, that pink and white. Damn, it looks good. Um, and then we have um, four units of Hom D arms. So these are my, my heavy infantry that are going to punch through, and they're going to chop down a lot of people, hopefully. And then we also have my general, who is the House Guard of Anjou. So he's got the. Um, the uh, Fleur de Lis and he's all in blue, all in the royal blue because uh, Duke of Anjou was. I'm not really sure, I'm guessing Anjou and Lorraine kind of had some sort of like alliance or the, they own, they both ha owned by the same man, I don't know, one or the other. Um, anyway, Joe on its uh, army, the Duchy of Lesser Poland. He has four units of Pavi's crossbowmen. He has, um, let's, so much is moving around, I can't. Get whether he's got sergeants in the in his second line of infantry, well his first line of infantry. He's got about five units of them. He's got heavy axemen here uh, in reserve. His shock infantry that are going to punch through. Look at them. They look very nasty with their huge axes. We have his general here, King's bodyguard late, and we have his shock cavalry, German men at arms late, and I think we also have some different ones. We have Polish knights as well. So he's got two different types of. Shot cavalry, so we'll see if that makes any difference. And then he has some sh uh, some sergeant spearmen here. So um, I think that's all his army. Uh, we've got very similar armies. Um, he's got slightly more missiles, so he can play slightly more defensive if he wants to, um, which I was aware of. So I am probably going to go on the offensive just to close that gap, so he doesn't get extra shots off on me with his extra pavies crossbowmen. Um, but yes, so thank you everyone for the subscriptions and comments and likes currently. Um, keep it up. It all means very much to me. I read all your comments and uh, try to re and reply to them all. And um, yeah, let's try and get to 600. Road to 600 is on. Um, anyway, back to the battle. So I am moving my cavalry out onto this uh, this left hand side. I'm trying to get as wide as possible, trying to get around his cavalry almost, so I can uh, shame I can't draw, because that would be quite handy. I want to basically get into these trees here and then I want to go strike and right, and then uh, obviously support with spears and then I might use my general to just surround and try and cut these guys off um, we'll see if that can happen. I'm now moving forward my archers and I'm going to try and engage his archers I think. Look at them going over the fences with their huge shields. I mean, I just love the design of all the shields. They're also all very like different variants. It's just beautiful. It's not like in Total War where they all basically have this, like the base Total Wars, but they all have the same sort of shields. And, like that necessarily wouldn't happen in the medieval time because you've like got your own like house that you want to represent on the battlefield, even though you're fighting for another lord. Like, look at those shields. God, they look beautiful. I mean, that looks Burgundian. Are you a Burgundian? Because we don't have Burgundians here. We have only people from Lorraine and Anjou, it would seem, as well. Yeah, he's ready. 
Um, so anyway, yes, I'm moving forward my main infantry line. I'm also sending these cavalry uh, to the right as well. I'm tr my boundary is to kind of just stay between this forest here. I don't really want to go further wide. Um, I want to combat his um, cavalry. I was a bit surprised that he put his cavalry behind his spears because, I mean, if he wants to ch charge through his cavalry, if I, like, charge his spears, which obviously is, I would get a fairly initial good charge off, but after that it would probably be pretty messy. Um, but he would have to go through his spears, breaking his formation and damaging his charge. So i would kept that in mind when I was uh, planning an attack, um, that he's got his cavalry behind. Uh, I think he has the same on the right. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, it, it can work. I think he, he may move them at any moment. But, um, I mean, God, they look beautiful, though. With all their long lances. So, I think we are almost there. I might just put it on two speed temporarily. Because I'm not sure if anything's really happening right now. I think we're just psyching each other out what to do first. So, here we go. Joe Arnott's coming forward with his army. Wonder if I'm going to move anything forward. I'm also sl slowly moving over these Homde arms because I want to these guys to help support in the attack here. Because he, if I just go in with the, these two cavalry in the spear, he outnumbers me by one infantry unit, and that's not good odds, especially when it's a shock infantry unit as well. So they'll be able to just cut down cavalry and infantry quite happily. So I've got these Homde arms, so they're just within. Um, like range of helping either out here or going into the main line and, it, and his first shots have been fired he's now firing his Pavi's crossbows at my uh, cavalry over here the cheeky man he's just doing that oh and we've got a charge we have a cavalry charge I've missed it we've missed it because I was on two speed I apologize for that but as you can see you can see what I'm doing here I've sent in my cavalry um, infantry going to support I've now got my general going in behind I'm going to try and surround him and get a nice little charge off here Keep an eye on that. While oh, we watch this fight, there's not much. I mean, cavalry fights they clash, and then but nothing else happens. Oh, here we go. So we've got a charge going in. Oh, we get one of the guys at the back, don't we? I'll we'll have to zoom in it like this. It's not a great charge because we've had to jump over a load of stuff. But um, you can see my general in there with his plume of yellow and blue, and his golden helmet on. He's majestic. And now in comes um, the Polish infantry, heavy infantry. Um, heavy Axemen, in fact, sorry. Um, going in, they'll chop up some people. My, uh, my spear's going in. I also now have two units of my own uh, heavy infantry going in. I think I'm going to commit one to attack these spears and one to help out in the fight here as well. And now we also have the uh, Polish general coming over to support. So, I mean, this whole area now, as you can see, look at the amount of units that are just getting sucked into this area. I pulled my general out because I just wasn't happy with the amount of losses he was taking. Um, and he was kind of caught out at the back here now that the king's bodyguard was going in into the rear and now we have i did not see this i don't know how i didn't see this i must have been too occupied on the left but the polish cavalry is now getting around my rear and um and he's set up nicely here and i was in no no position really to set ready for this and my cavalry and infantry are just going to get absolutely mauled here this was i was very ashamed of myself that i allowed this to happen I mean, look at these guys. They're so unsuspecting. They're not. They're bracing for the wrong direction. You fools! Oh, it's a nasty charge. Down the line. Look at the amount of spears that get killed. Now my cavalry is like turning around and getting ready to do something about it. This one's still not even doing anything. There we go. I've now activated the cavalry. It must be just like right. Let's get these guys in. So these Honda arms are like all getting mobilised here because I'm like code red, code red. This is major. Like this cavalry is basically gone. These spears are gone. Um, now the infantry line is starting to clash. It's all going off now. It's all going... Well, uh, let's get some slow-mos. Let's get some slow-mos of that. The uh, infantry now all committing. I mean, these ones haven't even gone in yet. I mean, here we go. In they go. Clash of the main infantry. So, this could be the decider, but I mean, those cavalry attacks on the flanks are probably going to be what makes this battle. Because cavalry, obviously, huge in this game. So... Nasty long infantry line. Not many deaths yet. Oh, some good, some good moves here. He's jumping in the air, trying to get all his angles. Go on, cut him down. Cut him down. Oh, there's a death there. Oh, the Burgundian really deserves to die. I presume he's a Burgundian. He's got the shield. But anyway, let's go back to normal speed. So as you can see here, I've now sent my cavalry into the rear. Um, I pushed through here 
um, while these were all preoccupied and took out his archers just to try and break them. I was then trying to I was trying to break his archers so I could then just get nice clean uh, attacks on all his infantry down the line. Um, I'm not faring too well here. Um, I've now got infantry breaking. I'm not having too much luck in this battle. Uh, my general is now also going into route these Pavis crossbows, just basically get rid of them off the battle, and then we're going to try and both these units are going to try and uh, destroy his infantry. But also, John, it's got the same idea as me. He's also trying to route my archers, which he's probably do with great effect. Um, I'm now starting to slowly win this flank now that he's sent his cavalry away. I'm like. He's in, his spears have just broken, it's now down to these uh, heavy axemen which I am massacring these Homde arms, they're doing so well. Now I've got these spears returning after they got absolutely mauled, they're going in for one last charge probably, they won't last long, their morale is shattered. But yes, we are, we're doing fairly well now. And now, oh, my infantry line is, is gone, <laughs> on this side, is gone. My infantry just don't seem to be a match to his, I mean... They're uh, the same tier, same like sort of era, but no, still just can't, can't hack it. And now his Polish, um, his Polish cavalry in my in the back dealing with my uh, with my cavalry. My general is is a gone. I don't actually know. My general may be maybe alive, maybe dead. I'm not quite sure. But he's he's not he's not doing too well. He's losing this battle decisively. Yeah, my I mean though the other one is winning, very. Uh, decisively, so who knows? I really need to get these infantry over here to help support my general. I then tried to get my general out because I was like, no, we just got to get him out. This is just not going well. I'm going to punch through these infantry and then just go out the other side. Um, and then the yet yeah, my general dies. I'm pretty sure there. Actually, no, is he still alive here? No, he's still alive here. I thought that was him, but no, because there's another one with a plume. And uh, yeah, I. Just basically go for this. Um, these sergeants here try and break these guys and help the Honda arms out. And I'm pretty sure he is this him. This might be him actually. With the white blue, maybe. I don't know. I don't think he's alive though. The general. I know the general dies at this point. My general dies, and um, yeah, and it's basically it. It's basically uh, GG at that point. I think for me. But, I mean, it's. I could still win it if I win this flank. If I win this flank, there's a lot to break it. But I, my only units here are losing. Actually, well, these ones are winning decisively, but deciding to break. And they're losing decisively. Yep, yeah, that's my unit gone. So it's just one unit that's, that stands. I, I desperately need some, like. Like a general kill or something like that myself. Just to, uh, just to give myself a chance. I have no idea if my general's dead yet, <laughs> um, but I think he is. I mean, my men are all wavering now. Um, we need, but I mean, we're winning on this flank, but only just. I mean, we need to kill these cavalry, the German men at arms. They're just destroying me. Like I can't. I can't, uh, I don't have a physically have a unit strong enough, I don't think to, like a cavalry unit strong enough to beat them. I mean, my only cavalry is over here, and it's now trying to route heavy axemen to win this flank. The centre, I've sort of won here, with these Lorraine swords, they did well, they held. Um, the Polish knights, they just broke instantly, that's excellent. Um, it is coming down to the wire. Like, look at the amount of men left. I actually outnumber Joe on it, that has his men left, but it's because I didn't realise I had a... Uh, Lorraine unit all the way over here, which is strangely still running away. I was like, how have I still got more men than him? I don't see where it is, but there's a whole fresh unit there, basically. So if you take that out, it's very, very close. There's about 100 and something left. But, um, yep, yeah, so these guys, I mean, these Homde arms are in so much action. And they've now got to fight some sergeants, which are breaking. But... I mean, they, yeah, the Humde arms are actually pretty, they're pretty good, but I mean, they're probably going to get attacked here, yet yeah, by German, by German cavalry. Um, these cavalry here have routed the heavy infantry, uh, heavy axemen. It's literally coming down to what is left in the middle. I mean, I've broken um, the German men at arms with these Lorraine swordsmen. 
but they broke one of mine. Oh, we're winning over here as well. We've just broken everything here, knights and sergeants. There is still time. Can we do this? Surely. Surely it can be done. I mean, this cavalry needs to go. This cavalry just needs... This is Polish knights. This is such a fresh unit, Polish knights. And then the general's still alive for them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, these Honda arms, they did so well. And they're getting cut down. Mercilessly. And I'm just now just sending in my cavalry in to take out these archers because they're annoying me and they're easy to kill. Perfect. They're broken. What's that leave me with? Lorraine, the swordsman. To do the deed. Can you do it, boys? All it needs is one last push. Kill this officer. Because that will affect their morale. Also, he's just got cool armor. He's not allowed to survive. But he's got a mace. What a ban. But I mean, it's inevitable. So I can see the cavalry is coming. And they're breaking even before the cavalry arrives. Oh. Some fight on, but I don't think many. I don't think any actually at this point. No, nope, they're all gone. So the Lorraine, I think that is basically the battle, guys. Um, yeah, my cavalry broke there. These look, these Pavis crossbows that I forgot entirely about are now just breaking and running off the battlefield. And there we go, a valiant defeat. It was such a close one. Um, well done to Joe on it, on just everything. He outmaneuvered me on that right-hand side, and that probably um, was my first mistake, and that kind of cost me the battle because he got the edge on my cavalry on that side. So we'll end the replay. I'll have a look at the uh, the uh, the scores on the doors. So, I mean, all my Homdi arms, apart from possibly one, did excellent. All getting over 100 kills. Some even getting 200 kills. My general getting 150 kills. My uh, infantry, some of them doing very, very well. These were probably the ones on the left. These two getting over 100 kills. This one nearly getting 100 kills as well. Um, but some of the other ones just weren't so great they just got outmaneuvered I think all my I mean my one of my cavalry only got eight kills but the rest seemed to do very well one of them getting 303 I think that's the most of any unit on the entire battlefield um, and then my arch is doing not so well which is why I brought not so many this time um, I'm not don't I find that archers in field battles don't seem to get many kills um, Joe on it's uh, general getting 265 kills um, it's a heavy axeman, all doing very, very well. Um, again, all getting over 100 kills. Um, his swords did probably worse than mine. Only one doing, like, getting 100 kills. The rest getting, like, a 60 was the next highest. Um, and then his archers also not doing so well. And his cavalry doing excellent. I mean, they all did very, very well, to be fair. And all, they were all well chevroned up. More well chevroned up than mine. And that probably gave him the advantage as well. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed the battle and want to see more 12-12 action or just more battles, then please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment on uh, what battle you think I should do next. And until next time, bye for now.